project started, we wanted to be able that we design a classroom that could continue to evolve as uh, new pieces of technology arrived and as new directions to teach students uh, were identified. To be able not to be tied up with a piece of technology that could soon become obsolete was really important. And uh, we want to use these new beautiful uh, classrooms as a way of nudge the faculty to explore new ways of teaching. So it's really about transforming engineering education by leveraging technology that engages more the students in the class uh, so that they, you know, they're just more present and get the faculty to rethink about how they deliver. Really, it's about how this system has helped me connect closer to the students. You know, in a very traditional classroom setting, um, we have a whiteboard and we have a projector and then I'm using my slides to introduce a concept then occasionally I step over to the whiteboard to elaborate on a concept. Here, uh, Think Hub Connect allows me to do both uh, seamlessly. So with a little flip of a button, I can present the slides up there in the front on this displays uh, in the sides of the room as well as extension displays on every station. I can also switch over from the presentation uh, over to just explaining a concept by hand. I don't have to worry about erasing. All I have to do is swipe from left to right otherwise and uh, trust that at the end of the lecture, I can simply email it to the rest of my class. Technology has helped me to use one platform, connect with students in many different forms, so that's one advantage. The technology also allows a little bit of a, a fluidity in the classroom, and also a proximity that the students feel to the material. And that has to do with the fact that now we can put an extension display on every platform. Now they can see it up close, and I think that helps them understand and stay closer to the material. Uh, the second thing is that they can air connect and ask a question by drawing it out instead of having to face the rest of the classroom. The fluidity of motion is that these stations allow an instructor to actually wander around the classroom, which I find helpful sometimes. If you notice a sleepy eye here and there, or if you notice someone who's not the most engaged, um, you can walk up to them and sit next to them and actually still be teaching the class. So these are the ways in which this system has really helped me. When we started looking at this project, we came up with a number of goals that had to be met. Uh, and a lot, of, a lot of that came out of just the design of the building. What was the purpose of what we were doing? And so as we, we began to look at that, we were creating a new space that was going to need to reach out to uh, students in other geographical lo locations, as well as uh, having faculty be able to teach from those locations to rooms here. So when you think about that, we, we had to have a, a very dynamic system that allowed us to bring in those different components uh, into our classroom and try to make them as much part of the room as, as possible. And so our goals were simply to find a system that would allow us to host uh, not only content from the local room, but content from remote users. And as we began to look at it, we couldn't find that. We wanted to see systems that, that could allow us interactivity with different items on the screen while also working out problems while the students were working collaboratively, while we had a remote instructor talking with us, uh, and so it just went on and on. And we were developing this very complex system, but we needed a simple way to do it. And we haven't had not seen anything that worked well prior to us uh, working with T1B and coming up with what we have now. In the end, we're seeing feature after feature after feature being added, and some of them, it was not even within our dream that we could have that, but we have it now. Uh, being able to take just a single window off the screen and being able to put that up on a side display. Um, it, it's simple things in, in some ways, but technologically, you can't do it well. And no one else does it. And so that's been exciting for us to get to work with uh, T1V to develop a product that is useful not only for us, but we believe for many, many other institutions.
because we have students who, who are very visual now. That's what they've learned, that's what they've grown up with. That's how they learn. They want to see, they want to almost put their hands on it. You know, it's just like your phone. You, you interact with it, you're seeing things, you're playing videos, you're talking with people. That's the experience we want in the classroom. One of the, the key things we were trying to accomplish with the, with the Connect system was the ability to provide what had previously been a series of technology solutions and, and bring many more of those down into a single platform. And so the ability to, to have interactive activities going on between the faculty and the, and the students, but also be able to consolidate what had previously been several different pieces of technology, whether that's everything from overhead projectors down to document cameras, et cetera, uh, and make it a much more pleasant experience for the faculty to, to go through as they teach. One of the, the key things that stood out to us was since a large component of this is a software-driven solution versus the traditional hardware-driven solutions. And so many of the things, other packages we had looked at uh, required the, the, the use of, of a hardware package to get to a solution. So therefore, when you decided to grow how you were using it, you were very limited in how much you could change without replacing a lot of hardware. As we began to work with T1V, they came up with this new system called ThinkUp Connect and it, it was pretty powerful. The ability to connect Think Hubs from one site to another. So now we're, we're sharing collaborative content. I literally could have a student working on a problem uh, in, in a Galveston, Texas, or McAllen, Texas, while the professor has just written it on the board in College Station, Texas. So it's amazing to get to see that piece. But not only that, we're, we're sharing uh, any content whatsoever, not just written, but some uh, video as well. We're able to use off-the-shelf conferencing systems, no longer having to purchase the very expensive uh, type video systems to establish connections. Our instructors, we've had two that have taught classes in this past semester. Uh, one was in Seattle, one was in Boston and the students in the class, I asked them, so what do you think about this experience? And they're, they're looking at me like, why are you asking? It was just, it was great, it was fine. You know, and I was expecting, oh, it was horrible. Uh, you know, we, we couldn't hear him, he couldn't hear us. Not only did ThinkHub Connect work well, but the other technologies we have in place worked well with ThinkHub Connect. I'm most excited about being able to use the technology to reach my students. You can be animated in a standard classroom. You can project inclusion in the classroom. But unless you can walk about, unless you can present opportunities to students, respond themselves in the comfort of their space, with the comfort of their own device, the job is half done. This way we can get them closer to this personalized education, in particular for classes involving design, involving coming up with new ideas and new products. So uh, we're very excited that it will be the traditional very good course that some of us took 20 years ago. You don't reinvent the material, but hopefully delivered in a very different way. This platform gives us the ability to have a, a situation where I don't know what they're going to create, and that's real exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to just being an observer in some of this and watching what they're going to be able to create with the tool sets that we're giving them. There are instances where a more collaborative, um, a more active learning type environment will, will change a student's life. It'll, it will change how they learn, it will change retention of material, uh, which in turn makes our students more successful not only at the university level, but as they move out into the global workforce. I believe this is going to be a game changer in a number of ways for our students, for our faculty. I've often said that uh, the faculty now have no reason to do whatever it is they want to do. Whatever they can dream of, we can probably provide that ability within this classroom. The students are more relaxed and they are more participating and what more can you ask of them?